feel, I mean, you know, this is a feeling I never felt before after doing a film or doing a motion picture or doing anything professionally. Now I have feelings that I never even have before. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to make sure that I'm still in California, make sure it's not a big dream. Pinching yourself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a kid from Harlem. Right. But you started dancing at a very early age. How young? About three or four, I guess. Dancers in your family? No, no entertainers at all. Well, what was it then? That uh, just, just something? Just something. I, was, I mean, you know, out of the neighborhood, I was always the one to win all the dance contests, every block party we have, uh, every time we even had parties. Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, that was a clip from the um, movie Fame from back in the day. Now, if you saw the clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was shut down. This is the story of fame actor Gene Anthony Ray. Gene Anthony Ray was born on May 24th, 1962. He was an American actor, dancer, and choreographer. A native of New York City, he was best known for his actor portrayal of dancer Leroy Johnson in the TV show Fame, as well as the 1980 film of the same name. The series based upon the movie, which originally aired from 1982 until 1987. Born in the Harlem neighborhood of Manhattan on May 24, 1962, Gene grew up in the area of West 53rd Street and later became involved in street dancing at block parties. He performed in a dance class at the Julia Richmond High School. He skipped school one day to audition for famed choreographer Louis Falco. Gene attended the high school of performing arts, the inspiration for the film fame, but was kicked out after just one year. It was too disciplined for this wild child of mine, Gene's mama, Gene E. Ray would later say. He won the part of Leroy Johnson in the movie Fame, which was released in 1980. Much like his fame character, he had little professional training, but he possessed a raw talent that won him his role of Leroy. The director, Alan Parker, had to approach him very carefully. His mom was dealing drugs during the filming. It wasn't pretty. In 1981, Gene starred as Friday alongside Michael York as Robinson Crusoe in the 1981 TV adventure comedy, Robinson Crusoe and Me and Friday. He also starred in the show Fame during that time. The series was produced by MGM Television from 1982 to 87 and went into syndication from 83 to 87. Additionally, he began touring the UK with the other members of the fan cast as the kids from fame. They performed at 10 venues, including a sold out performance at Royal Albert Hall. In 84, USA Today reported, Gene was redacted from the show after his mother was arrested running a trap house. He failed to show up for work 100 times. He struggled with addictions to alcohol and narcotics and worked intermittently once the TV series ended. In 1985, he danced in the Weather Girls music video for well, a wiggy. In 87, he won the role of a Billy Nolan in the ill-fated musical adaptation of, of Carrie by Stephen King. Gene played the role in the original opening, Stratford upon Avon, which closed after less than a month. He then transferred to Broadway and continued to play the role until the musical closed after only 21 public performances. He also appeared in the 1990 film, Out of Sync, which was directed by his famed co-star Debbie Allen. In the 1996 Whoopi Goldberg comedy, Eddie, for which he was also credited as associate choreographer, as well as in commercials for Dr. Pepper and Diet Coke. His last video appearance was a one hour BBC Fame reunion documentary, Fame Remember My Name, taped in Los Angeles in April 2003. As described in his Telegraph obituary, Gene remained a frantic party goer with a self-confessed weakness for alcohol and narcotics. As his life fell apart, he slept on park benches and during a failed attempt to launch a fame style dance school in Milan, shared a flat day with a porn actress. In 96, he was diagnosed with HIV. Flamboyantly camp, he brushed aside questions about his sexuality. He never married. Jean Anthony Ray passed away on November 14, 2003 at the age of 41 from complications of a stroke he had suffered in June that same year and complications from AIDS. Rest in peace to Gene Anthony Ray. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.